Batman, Superman, Spider-Man. These caped crusaders have graced the covers of comic books and won over children's hearts for close to a century. Whether you're a fan of Marvel or DC, there's no denying these imaginary figures with superhuman powers are recognized all over the world. But here in McKinney, a new superhero is born, and he's unlike any we've ever seen before. El Puzzle Hero, I, that title is Spanglish. And I wanted to create a hero that was grounded, uh, that wore uh, blue jeans, uh, cowboy boots. Just, very Texas -like. Yeah, very, uh, just very Southwest. Meet El Peso Hero. He's a bit different than your average superhero. No cape, no mask, just blue jeans and cowboy boots. Creator Hector Rodriguez saw an emptiness on the shelves of comic book stores that needed to be filled. Sure, the Incredible Hulk and Captain America were thrilling page turners, but as a Mexican-American, Hector wanted to bring to life a character from his culture something he's been dreaming of ever since he was that kid in the comic store. Every Friday, we, after school, we visited the comic book store to pick up a comic, right? But, you know, looking around, uh, you know, you look through Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, and those characters, which were fun and amazing characters, they didn't really speak to me, you know? They... You know, you don't, you don't see a Batman eating tamales. Being Mexican-American, uh, my family has been on the border for hundreds of years. And, you know, we're bilingual, bicultural, and we are uh, very proud of both our worlds. They say not all heroes wear capes. One look at El Peso Hero's costume, and this is true. But for Hector Rodriguez, it resonates even more. He created the superhero he always envisioned, always wished he'd had growing up. Now children, once like Hector, with no magical guardians they could relate to, have El Peso Hero. And that makes Hector a hero in our book. I was in Austin, Texas, visiting a school, and this, uh, I was taken back when one student shows me uh, the cover and she has a book. It's like, you know, this reminds me of my mother crossing, you know, but your book has a hero helping them, but I wish my mom had a hero helping her. And it's, uh, it, you know, it, 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 that's, it, you, wow, it, it's such a powerful uh, expression of a connection towards something that was very uh, intimate towards her own how, life. How did that make you feel? It, it made me very humble uh, with a sense of duty and responsibility. As long as there's uh, stories to tell in the border, there's always be a special hero.